ריאלי, N5, 4, 3, 2. Come see me do stand-up. I'm doing a very, very limited run of stand-up. I'm doing, uh, you know, bigger venues and select cities because I, I don't want to come everywhere like my husband. I like to stay home in Texas with my children and do these podcasts with my cool friends like Rob Eiler, who's joining today. Hi, Gene. Oh, huh. <laughs> He's still jamming on the one. You're still jamming. Yeah, I'm still jamming. Nadav was singing for us before we started. Oh, it's the best. Do, do you want me to sing it? I think Nadav should sing it. I think you should. Can you sing it, Nadav? We, yeah. we like to do parodies around here. Go ahead. Because uh, the show that I did was in Jersey, so it brings oh. back fond memories. Yeah. You know, Springsteen is a real a real hero National to the Jersey. National treasure, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. To us, too, yeah. What should he have been singing? <laughs> I guess I'm gay and retarded. <laughs> I guess I'm gay and retarded again. Ooh. I guess I'm gay and retarded. Yeah. Wow. wow. I guess I'm gay and retarded. <laughs> it doesn't get... <laughs> yeah. God, that's fucking... He needs to write a little more, but I think for the beginning... Oh, you think so? I don't think so. You think he's just... <laughs> guess I'm gay and retarded. Yeah, I think that's a finished piece of work. Because I'm gay and retarded all over again. Hey, gay baby. As long as he hits that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's fucking... That's solid. Yeah. Is that is that dancing in the dark? Uh, the dance yeah. in I the guess dark. Yeah. yeah. I guess we're just Yeah, which by the way, I mean, that's not better in the, the dark. At night. At night. <laughs> at, night. <laughs> at night. Yeah. To be gay and retarded. What a life. Are there mm. gay retarded people, I wonder? Oh yeah. I thought you've had them on here. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I'm being uh, yeah, I've never met a, a gay retarded person. I'm sure they exist. I've just I've never known any. You Didn't don't you? ask. <laughs> What's yeah. your sexual orientation? Yeah, I should. I know a few. I go. Uh, I go to Randall. So says here you're retarded. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, <laughs> leads me to my next question. <laughs> Are you gay? Wait. Bring that back up. Okay. Let me do my date since the board is up now. Breast Palm Beach, Florida, January 28th and 21st. And then Addison, Tejas, February 2nd, 3rd and 4th. One night in Portland, March 31st. And then April 1st in Rohnert Park, California. And then Chicago, Illinois, April 29th, April 30th, Milwaukee. What did I call it? Titsconsin? Fuck, Masterful. Yeah, that Thanks, that one above there has to be Boner, right? Which one? Boner Park. <laughs> Yeah, come on. What's up, Boner Park? Bone her. Nailed bone, it. Bone her. Bone her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Charlestown, <laughs> Charlestown, West Virginia at the Hollywood Casino, May 13th, 2023. ChristinaPOnline.com for tickets. Also, buy my lipstick if you haven't already for the holidays. Christina P's Perfect Red. It really is, in my estimation, the greatest red lipstick ever developed. You know why? I didn't go cheap. Because all these GD makeup companies... They sell you the worst crap. This is made in Italy. It's a real, real good formula. The color is amazing, and it comes with a snap cap so the shit doesn't get open in your purse and ruin it. There you go. You Rob, know who I, would love that lipstick? Who, mommy? Someone who was gay and retarded. That's so true. If yeah. they were gay and retarded and trans. <laughs> gay, trans, and retarded. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've seen you. You've moved to Tejas. I've moved to Texas. I can't I live believe in it. Texas. Yeah. How do you like it so far? How's it going? It's good. Like I've said this so many times, but for me, it's like if I don't live in New York, everywhere's the same. Yeah. Like I don't know. I I, I don't see a difference between like here <laughs> and when I was in LA. I'm not I'm not walking around every day like man. I'm in Texas now. Like you know, yeah. it's like it's the same. I do the same shit. Uh, yeah, I think that's. It took me about a year and a half before. I started to do Texas things. You know, in the beginning, I was living my life as I did in L.A., and I would just find things that plugged into L.A. life. And then I, you just, I discovered shit along the way that's uniquely like Austin. And then, oh, okay, now I go to this uh, place with my kids, or I go shopping in this tiny little store versus the mall or whatever the fuck. Right. But that just takes time to know your flaves. 
Yeah, I don't go shopping no matter what. You don't shop ever. I mean, I just, I, I, I do, but it's like a, tra- you know, it's like a hatred thing. Yeah. Like, I'm like, all right, I got to do it. You know what happens? I don't go shopping, but then I have like, I'll have a thing like, all right, I need 12 things now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the like, the same thing or no, 12 I'm like, oh, I don't have <laughs> headphones and I don't have yeah. this. And I don't, and, and yeah. like, it finally gets to a point where I'm like, I can't live like this anymore. <laughs> like, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go and get like at least three of these things. So I might as well just get them all. And the same thing with clothes. Like, I will not. I, I, if you told me when's the last time you bought a new, like I, I buy hoodies maybe like a couple times a year. I'll go online and just like buy a bunch, and then for like a year I'm like, oh, I haven't purchased anything. Well, I remember um, on pajama pants you had discovered a certain brand that you were really really into, and you went back to the same store. I do I do this behavior as well. So now I'm hooked on the brand that you were hooked on like two years ago, and I'll go and I'll, online I'll just buy multiples of the same thing. Because I like it so much that I wear it out. Uh-huh. I, I shop from like three stores. I See, I all, go all I to do. the store okay. and then I make sure I like it. I leave with nothing and then I go home and I'm like, <laughs> yes. Because I, I don't, I don't want to like fucking carry these bags and shit. No, I don't want to carry the bags. Yeah, I just don't like... I, I go and also I like to have like a period of time of be like, do I even want that shit? Like, yeah, because you know? sometimes I'm like, no, I don't. I was just like in that store and I saw something and we're, like I don't need that fucking... What, like, I have the same three gym shirts that I've been wearing for, like, four years. Right. You know? Where I'm like, I wonder if these stink. But I don't think that's how it works. I don't think this thing stays. Gym shirts? No, they do. Oh, they do. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you how I know? So, yes, okay. <laughs> have you ever owned a white t-shirt? Oh, my God. Well, what happens to those pits? Yeah, but they don't smell. They stain. They stain. But what do you think makes the stain? Wow. <laughs> the stink <laughs> but see th- this the is kind of makes but 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 the, now you're the color you're, you're going to the to the farts push the poop out <laughs> or does the push or does the Listen, because be, it's, but, it's shit by the way my mother swore all it's, do farts push the shit out it's do shit far, don't right. say poop or does yeah. the does the stain make the stink or does the stink, stink make, make the, the stain? stain wow wow Fuck, we gotta ask Doctor Drew. How do we go on? I don't <laughs> How do you top that? But but I, but 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 you no. I know what you're saying. I don't I don't think I've owned a shirt that stunk, even after I washed it. Well, here's the, here's the deal, man. Sure. I, I just I just cleaned out. Lot. I just cleaned out a storage unit in New York that was just sitting there for like five years. Oh my god. And when I took the stuff out, it smelled so bad because there's like, yeah. you know, tons of homeless in the storage unit. The whole place <laughs> just like is not great. Like when you're in the L like Again, I, I've I lived in New York my whole life. I, I'm a dude. Like it makes sometimes like I see women at like nine o'clock at night in the like the storage unit place, and I'm like, she you wouldn't go there. Yeah, I'm like you you because like you get in the elevator sometimes with people, and you're like, okay, like this person has is like a homeless person who has their whole life in a shopping cart, and there's like glass sticking, out, and you're just like, oh <laughs> shit, like it's so it's scary. Yeah, it's like sketchy. I you cannot know? believe. You and Jamie grew up in Jew Dork Titties. I mean, I was just there a month ago, and I saw these little kids in the in the fart bucks, and like they're they're like nine or ten, and they're on their own in Manhattan, and they're so they're like warriors, bro, and they know not to fucking look at me, like don't make eye contact. Like I was like, hi, hi, little boys, and they're just like, nope. Like they fully fucking were like, don't look at me, bitch. I'm just here to get my hot cocoa and on with it. They either ignore you or you think they ignored you. And then when you go outside, it's like, hey, you fucking bitch. Like, <laughs> you know, like, don't fucking talk. And then like they're whole, they're all like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, but it's, it's like being raised in a war zone. New York City is, it's, it's, and I can see it, it you know, like that's why East Coasters are so like fast and hard. And you guys are like, you're traumatized. It's, it's in your, it's in your DNA, the city, right? Yeah, I, th- I think about when I was like nine years old in New York City, walking like a mile to school by myself every day, and not and and just in like a, I don't even think about like New York and like the fuck you aspect like that. I think of like kidnapping or like oh my what, god, like I think of my like my 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 like in the winter like the two mitts like hanging off my hands and just like what oh like god. trying to carry my backpack and like yeah, but I'm like yes yeah, somehow for a year like it was just all good. Oh, yeah. I was talking to Tommy yesterday because he and I are going to, you know, for the holidays, we go stay in hotels sometimes. And I was like, I don't want my kids just running willy nilly around a hotel, even if it's a nice contained hotel. Chances are they're going to be fine. But when I think about the 80s, when my dad would take me to bars, 
uh, Oktoberfest, the mall, someone's house, anywhere, right? From the time you're like five or five, you're just roaming. And I and Club Med, he used to take me to Club Med and I would just roam the village and like adults are fucking everywhere. And you're like, it's crazy, nothing. We didn't get kidnapped or, you know? It's, 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 it's wild. wild. And it's because like, the I feel like <laughs> somehow the odds of getting kidnapped seem higher now, but also like everyone has technology now. So like, I don't know. They would catch, but I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But Do I remember you, yeah. one time, so I had to go to like my, I think my dad's mom made me go to like, religious school to like make my communion and like do all this stuff on my parents i don't think they really cared or maybe my dad did and they're like um i remember i would for like two hours in between school and religious school i would go see my grandpa at the bar and he'd be like <laughs> fucking wasted like you know we're chilling and i remember uh they would if if they gave you a beer that was like a twist on cap they would give it to you with the cap on and i didn't realize that when they when it was like a heineken they would take the cap off behind the bar for you right? and give it to you. <clears throat> and uh, I thought the cap was on the beer and I like took it as a joke to like show one of the guys because he was like drinking and like I did and I went like this and it poured <laughs> like all in my face and my shirt and everything. Uh, and then I showed up uh, to religious school like two hours later just reeking like booze. <laughs> and I was like eight years old. And I remember like, and by the way, I, I still think, like, I don't think anybody in my family was like, this is nuts. Right. Like, you know, no, they were all just like, you're an idiot. Like, why would you do that? And I don't, I think I was like, I don't even know. Like, you know, just show up. To, and then I got kicked out. Not why for that. Why did you get kicked out? Because the teacher had, like, her jacket hanging over the, the back of the thing. Yeah. And uh, I think somebody, like, locked her out of the room or whatever. And I grabbed her jacket and I put my, I like laid on it and I put my arms in the jacket and had my friend push me around the classroom <laughs> on my, by my feet. And, and she's, she was like crying because it was like a, I think it was like a fur coat or something. Yeah. And she was crying. And we were like she's crying. And, and you know what's funny? It's like, I remember Jeez. the vibe of like my mom being like, you got kicked out of religious school, what you're doing. And me being like, yo, what are you, like, she's crazy. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. like this, oh, I'm sorry. Like, it was like, yo, that lady's nuts. Like, that lady is about? nuts. Her priorities are all wrong. If for a jacket, she's that upset? Who cares? You, well, I think she was also offended that, like, we locked her out. <laughs> <laughs> she thought that she was, like, conducting a classroom thing. And, like, somebody, like, called her out into the hallway. And then it was like, oh, she locked the door. <laughs> and, like, somebody locked the door. And then it was just chaos in there. Chaos. Because, like, you can't really get in trouble because, you know, I went to public school my whole life. So in public school, you get they'll be like, "We'll kick you out." We're like, sure. For I think my grandmother or like whoever was paying for me to go to that religious class, so like they're not gonna kick you out because they need that money. Of course, yeah. But it's so funny when you but then think they did. <laughs> that they did. You got that's how Eventually bad you they were. were. Like this guy is just He's you fucking know. godless. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny to me looking back that that teachers would cry. Like, do you remember making teachers cry? And you're like, wait, yeah, why are you so soft? Like, well, they're going through hell and they're not getting paid. Well, that's the problem. That's yeah. true. Because if they were like, well, I'm making a million this year. What do I care, kids? Right. It's it's. They're not like, oh, in three months, I'll be in Italy on the coast of like whatever, you know? Instead, they're like, oh, in three months, like I'll be lucky to like get a sandwich. <laughs> I know. It's Hold on. Teachers my, should my be getting paid. My husband's annoying me. Hold on. Yeah. God, he's always like, I love you. Oh. <laughs> I need you. Just kidding. It's totally not that. You tell him, you'd be like, stop being... Stop being gay and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just make sure he called. He never calls. Usually it's a text. So, <sighs> Yeah, take a minute. You want to call him? No. Okay. I'm just texting. All right, I'll fucking call him. What are we talking about? Oh, ki uh, teachers crying, yeah. Because they don't get paid enough. Teachers should be paid so much fucking So money. much more. So much money. Like, you deal with... I, sometimes you're around like three kids for three hours and you're like, Jesus you Christ, sometimes that's a lot, My whole life, I'm around my kids for two, and I'm like, for, for uh, the weekend. But imagine, it's got to be so much more exhausting when they're not your kids. Because oh. you could be like, shut the fuck up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can yeah. say whatever you want to your kids. But when it's like 30 kids that like, it's like, hey, did you say this to my kid? Like, they always oh have to be God. like, I can't do this. I gotta do could you imagine dealing with the parents? I think that has to be the worst part of being a teacher is having them complain like, you gave Johnny a B in, in spelling and he oh. deserves an A. It's like, shut the fuck up. That's like, why everyone's so dumb because teachers are just like, fine, he has an A. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just pass. That's what they did to me. When I was, <laughs> I'm seriously, when I was what? in eighth grade, 
So I was doing uh, Sopranos when I was in eighth grade. So I oh my showed God, up. You're such a baby. I know. I think I showed whatever like my report card said my days absent was higher than my average so like uh, making up a number if i had like 64 days absent my average was like 63 so you saw this high number and you're like oh that should be good i was like oh no that's a bad one and then like the (laughs) average and my teacher my homeroom teacher was like the only reason i'm passing you to go to be able to go to ninth grade is because i i can't have you here for another (laughs) another year and not because i was so bad because it was just so disruptive oh i bet because i would not show up for two weeks and I would just show up. I'd be like, yo, what's up? Like, you know, and they'd be like, like, there's no reason for me to be here. I don't know what's been going on. So Wait. they would give me a test and I'd be like, oh, I don't know any of this. Like, you know. Well, yeah, but don't, aren't they supposed to give you tutors on set? Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I was like, I was like, hey, I'm working, you know, I'm working here. <laughs> I'm working. Like, you know, yeah. I was like 14 <laughs> years old and they would try to like, you know, they get you in a room and they're like, yeah, do you know this, that? And I'd be like, do you know, like, yeah, I, I just, yeah. I. Do you know my lines? Yeah. Shithead? I'd be like, sorry, that's a thing too. You could be like, I'm sorry, I have to learn my lines. And like, <laughs> you like, could just do all this stuff. Uh, do you know who I am? I act with James Gandolfini. Yeah. Edie Falco. Hello. And this is the major thing. Major star. Even if I worked only like two days in a week, I would, those next, you know when kids are like, mom, I'm sick. Like, I don't yeah. feel. Oh, I'd yeah. be like, mom, I was working yesterday. Like, none <laughs> of these kids have to work. Like, you know, I would just try anything. And my mom would leave for work before I would leave for school. So I just wouldn't go. Oh. oh my god and then what i would do which was the mess. coolest is so we had lunch at noon or 11 or whatever and you can go out in the city for lunch every day and like do From whatever school. you want yeah Jesus. so i would just show up and like wait by the mailbox every day at noon or 11 we'd all go to lunch and like smoke a blunt chill like do whatever <laughs> like sometimes like drink a 40 and then it was like all right like it's it's one o'clock or it's noon like let's go back into school and then i'd show back up into school and it was like oh i haven't been here in a week and now i'm just like fun like hang and, and i'd be like why are you guys like quiet and doing this fucking work like that's but i wasn't like a piece of shit but i was just like it was like confusing to me to be like what haven't you guys grown up in the last six months yeah like, you know? i mean you were an adult by 12 13 years was that when you started when you were 12 or 11 even yeah I started, well, I started auditioning when I was six. Oh, my God. So I would God. go, like, go to school, and then after uh, school, you would go, like, take the train downtown, and you'd go to, like, two or three auditions, and you go back. It was, like, a, just to, like, you know, as a six-year-old, to be like, no, next. <laughs> like, you know, like, he's too short. Get him out of here. He's too Irish. And I'd be like, okay. And then you fucking go to the next one, the next <laughs> so one. But then brutal. it's like, but then what happens is, when you get that call that you got something, that's like, what? Like, the you, you develop a callus to, like, being told no. Sure, yeah. That, like, you just don't care. Like, you're not like, oh, but the funny <laughs> thing is, we talk about this a lot, where, like, Jamie never really developed that thing because her mom, like, every time she walked out of the room would be like, did they like you? Oh, like, were you no. good? You know, so it was like, she she had a different, but that's probably why she's worked so much more than me because she cares when she goes to those <laughs> rooms. You know what I mean? Like, she was... Uh, she was doing like Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. Wow. Like, you know what I mean? I when I was literally that. like selling 20 bags of weed to like make, <laughs> get free weed to smoke with my friends while we were like both on Soprano, <laughs> you know? It was just, we had very different. Well, you've always said that you, you, I mean, I don't know if you said this, you can cut this out if you don't want to talk about it, but the, you don't really, like acting was not really, Oh, we got to cut this. No, I don't know. Like, <laughs> okay. you, yeah, you're it's just bullshit. Not, like, I just don't know if yeah. you say it publicly. I don't want to like, I don't know if you're up for a job no, yeah, or something. It's, just like, not, it's not for me. Yeah, you're you not. Know? Which is ironic because you're so good at it. Maybe it's well, because you, you don't, you're not so attached to the outcome that you're just like, yeah, I can relax into this and just be good at it. Yeah, I just like, it's not, and again, it's not that I don't enjoy acting, it's everything that comes with it and around oh, it, boy. and the like, Same the easy. like, hey, you're, you know, like, you're working on a show for six days before you do, like, you, you've shot, like, two minutes of stuff, or, like, you do a podcast, you do an hour of podcast, you have an hour of podcast, Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you done. work on a show for an hour, and you haven't, they haven't even put you in the chair yet to get oh, ready I hate it. to work, and you're just, like, sitting around, and people are like, okay, you did, like, you'll sit here, and, like, we'll say one line. And they're like, okay, cut. All right, look, we have to change everything. Ugh. And you're like, go away for three hours. And, and you're just like, I don't have that passion to be like, this is so... Because here's the, here's the deal, too. It's like 90% of acting is horseshit. Like, the, 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 what comes... The final product is terrible. <laughs> we're like, <laughs> Sopranos was great. So we were on Sopranos. It was like, all right, hey, I'm sitting around for fucking eight hours to do a scene. But, like, it's with fucking James Gandolfini yeah. and David Chase is, is direct... Or, like, what are, you're like, this is so fucking... 
like, yeah, of course it's worth it. I never felt that way. But then after you go do something bad and you're like, did we just spend 12 hours Ugh. sitting around this fucking school, it's this horrible. like unair conditioned school in the summer to shoot a one minute scene that like these people aren't even like into, like nobody cares. The people like, Ugh. why does it take so long? I remember doing commercials in my 20s and I was like, why, why does this take so long to light the fucking thing? Yeah, and then switch. Now we got to switch the cameras. Like, is, it, is there no more efficient way to do this? Like the three camera system with sitcom makes fucking sense. Yeah. You get all your shit. You do it. You just do it a few times and then bub, done. Bada bing. Bada bing, right? <laughs> like you, you're just fucking done. And I, uh, I just, it's so inefficient. Show business is so inefficient. They waste so much fucking money and time. and uh, Right, anyway. and, and again, like I'm not... I'm not Ugh. trying to complain about it. I'm more just saying like why I don't, you don't do, it do it now. It like why I'm not like, oh, I can't wait to go. No. Like, oh, I really want to do it. Like, oh, I got a phone call. Like, you know, and again, this this might Ugh. sound douchey, but I don't want to. But like in the last, oddly, in the last like two years, I've gotten probably like three phone calls to do like big things. And like I told my manager, I'm like, don't even call them back. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want. Like one of them, if I told you, you'd be like, what? Like it's. <laughs> crazy and i did i told my manager like don't even call don't like call just, back. yeah or just say like just say like if you have to maintain a relationship with them say like no sorry he's busy but like i'm on the podcast being like i do nothing all day <laughs> like you know and then they're like oh he's too busy to do this like blockbuster thing and i'm like yeah i don't know well but i think that's also a sign of um you know maturity too where you're I've turned on things too in the last few years where I'm like, no, just no. And other people will be like, wait, what do you mean? But that, it's, that's it's, something you wanted a decade ago. I'm like, that's a decade ago. But it's also different because you're turning you stuff do down it. because you're doing other big stuff. Oh. I'm turning stuff <laughs> down. Big, this is my big stuff right but here. But I'm like, this is big stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is big stuff. Your mom's house is big stuff doing stand up. Like, you're like, I'm flying to New York to do stand up. Like, that's big stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like throwing out the garbage. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, sorry, Netflix. I'm throwing out my garbage. <laughs> you know, like, like, they'd be like, what? Like, it, it, could you imagine, like, a I'm big, bowls. like, some big fucking company calling and being like, hey, like, we want him to come in and do this thing. And I'm just sitting on my couch looking at my phone like, <laughs> no. Uh, like, I'm just such a piece of shit, you know? But it's like, yeah. I just don't, you know, I'm, I'm in a very lucky place i was very, i started working when i was fucking six years old yeah, so like, you made your money you're fine yeah and i've Enjoy also like life. you know i've i think a thing that like because when i when i'm dating girls they always are like you know you don't seem like you have enough and or i say this is like i don't have enough money to die probably i mean maybe like i i <laughs> not the way i live now i don't have enough money to be like 80 and be like yeah just still chilling you know but uh what was i saying when you're dating oh, girls oh. But the, but the girls are like, you don't seem worried about that. And I'm like, because I know deep down if I ever had to, like I've studied poker enough where I can go to the worst, po like the easiest poker game in my state and go make $30 an hour there. Right. If I had to. Do you deal poker, you mean? Or no, no, play, no, play poker. Like play poker. So this is your backup, this is your retirement plan? No, I just know that I have that in the poker. back of my head. Or it's, yeah, Nadav sure. gets it. Nadav gets it, yeah. It's foolproof. It's yeah. such a degenerate, yeah. But, because yeah, it's like, sure. listen, I, I, I was very lucky in that I don't think it's that hard to make money playing poker. But then if you combined it with, I had no job <laughs> for six yeah, years would and I moved do? to Vegas just to play poker. <laughs> it was the only thing I thought about 24 hours a day was like poker and partying. So it was like, I, I, I've I been through, you know, I've been playing poker for probably like 19 years. You're kind of an expert at this point. Well, I'm definitely not, like 10 years ago, I was like a very <laughs> like good poker player where now like because the game's been figured out and people study it so, oh. on such a different level, I'm like, any hand that happens, you could put into a computer, like a solver, and be like, oh, this is the right way to play that. And people study all these spots nonstop. And I'm like, I don't have that in me. Like, I enjoyed poker before it was figured out. Mm. And people didn't know. Like, people would, like, sit around for three hours at lunch and be like, you think I should do this? Or do you think <laughs> I should do this? And it was like, I, I would do this. And it's like, well, I would do this. And that's what made the game so fun. Mm. Or for me now, it's like... It's like how Google is, you know, when, when you're sitting around and you're like, do you think uh, this or this? And, like, you, you could sit and talk now because of these solvers. It's like, oh, hold on. Let me type it in. And yeah. you type it in. And it's like, oh, here's the answer, which at first was cool. But now it's like, oh, everybody at the table 
just kind of knows the same shit when you go up in levels and it's like oh, the it's margins fun, are so man. small. But if you go to these tiny mm. poker games, you can go where people are like, hey, I only play once every two weeks. I'm just doing it for fun. I'm this. And you can pick up $20, $30 an hour like easily. We're a bunch of suckers. Yeah. So I always like just kind of have that in the back of my head of like, hey, if, if I'm saying no to something and like turning something down, it's like I have in the back of my head of like worst case scenario, I can go make $20, $30 an hour or also worst case scenario, I go, I can call up, insert shit network here because sure. if you think about it, right, there's fucking 9,000 channels on TV. I can get a job somewhere. It might be terrible. It'll be terrible. It might be so bad. But I... I, in my head, I think, and maybe this isn't true, I think I can work somewhere. If I if, somewhere. if it turned out that I was 55 and all of a sudden I was like, oh, shit. Like, even if it was somehow working behind the camera or doing whatever, it's like I don't, I just don't have, which I'm very lucky, like, I don't have that fear of, like, oh, my God, what if I'm, you know, and I also have family and friends where I'm like, I think they let me live in their basements. That's for sure. I think you yeah. would be an excellent that's the guy that lives in my guest house. Like I, I thought about it when you moved to Austin. I was like, you can live in my guest house. You yeah, really could. You were like, you could stay at our guest house wherever you want. I love you because <laughs> you're you're such an easy guest. You're an easy hang. You're an easy get along person. You're a great person to eat meals with, and you. you're you're an easy guy. I, when I met my neighbors at my new place, I wanted to be like, you know, you just got you just hit the lotto. I'm like, I don't <laughs> drink. I, I'm not loud. I don't have anyone over ever. Like Never. there's, no, I'm like you. Do, I'm just so like, I, I'm clean. I yeah. eat, and that's it. That's all you do. <laughs> yeah. And you're fit. You stay in good shape. Yeah, I, I try and work out an hour a day so that I can be disgusting. In yeah. The other time. Oh, I've I've started eating these fucking beef brisket tacos every day because I'm hooked Welcome on them. Welcome to Jesus Texas. Right. So good. My face. I'm I'm getting pimples in places I've never eaten. Like the <laughs> side of my neck. I'm like, what is this? But it's like I think it's just like smoked <laughs> meat yeah. with like yeah. sour cream. Oh, <laughs> look who's on board now. Uh, no, but I feel horrible about yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're new. supposed to. Yeah. I'm new. It's all right. No, no, you can do that because um. Yeah. Yes, I took you to Jay Carver's when you first got here. And you're yeah. like, this is fucking gross. I'm yeah. getting acne. There's butter and meat and garlic. Because, let me tell you something. But you're now like, look at you. You're like, oh, this garlic look bread with cheese is so oh, it's good. so good. There, there's no bad garlic bread with cheese. It's not true. Yes, That's it is. True. You can go to the supermarket right true. now and go to the frozen aisle not and true. get Texas toast and put it in a fucking toaster oven. And you're like, this shit is bomb. <sighs> Rob. It's the facts. Agree to disagree. Because I think, no, it's so good. Maybe because I didn't grow up eating that stuff. You're Italian. Maybe you guys had more. No, I'm not Italian. What are you Why talking are you? about? <laughs> I'm Irish and German. Like the worst food in the world. I, it was a TV you, show, you, Christina. You grew up eating cap, Capicola. <laughs> you're, like, or... yeah, you're like, yeah, there's this Italian guy living in my guest house. It's like, you don't even know I'm not Italian. It must be a holiday miracle because the sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, are stuffing your stockings with everything the man in your life could ask for if you don't believe in santa you better believe in this they've changed seven million men for the better get 20 percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with code wmma i mean is manscaped not the greatest company in the world helping clean up men's junk uh, it's fantastic my husband uses all their products and i couldn't be happier because his junk smells and feels d delicious manscapes best-selling product is the performance package 4.0 which is at the top of every man's wish list this year their formulations are all vegan cruelty free dye free sulfate free and paraben free so you know yeah, his manhood is in good hands make sure you hurry to their site to ensure these wild gifts show up before the holiday season and while you're at it get 20 percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with code wmma get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped dot com with code WMMA. Cheers to rocking the best gifts of all this season. A gift for him, but really it's a gift for you. Whether you're shopping for yourself or someone special, Adam and Eve will have the perfect gifts. And with an amazing deal at adamandeve.com, get 50% off plus free shipping. That's 50% off an adventurous new toy, a slippery lube, or almost anything else you desire. Our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost any item. Just use code WMMA at checkout and you'll get 50% off and free shipping. It doesn't matter what you choose. All will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. Isn't this the best 
gift to give anybody in your life is something from adamandeve.com. More pleasure in the bedroom is the gift that keeps on giving. Treat yourself, treat your partner. Life is too short to not enjoy yourself. So go to adamandeve.com, select any one item and use code WMMA at checkout. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast. So be sure to support our show and use the code WMMA to get 50% off and the 100% free shipping. Code WMMA. Go to adamandeve.com right now. I okay, you can come live with me. <laughs> I just thought you guys ate all the stuff that was on the set all the time on your dinner. You can, that's what uh, Edie Falco made you for dinner all the time. My fam- Growing up, my, my grandpa hey. was a cook in the army, and he would cook for us like he was cooking for the army. Like He would take a whole <laughs> London broil and cut it in four pieces and put it in a stew. And you would like spoon it out to you and then you'd get like a chunk of lo- like you're supposed to, you know, there's supposed to be like cubes in a stew. It'd be like a full steak, like, like a half meat. of a carrot. You uh, would get like half of an onion. Uh, it was so, it was, it was a peasant food. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. And, you're supposed to cut it like, up. Why didn't he cut it up? He Because he, he was used to preparing for like hundreds of men or like uh, thousands of men. There's no time to like uh, precisely cut a carrot, you know? He would just like break a carrot in half and throw it in the pot. <laughs> He is. He's like a cartoon chef, you know? Like, you'd just be sitting and you'd be like, oh, no, Grandpa's cooking again. And he'd be drunk. He'd be, like, drinking. He's, like, pouring beer in there. Like, he's my Grandpa was wild. See, I think this is why I love Rob. Because I was talking in the last episode, like, everybody who died in, has died in my family dies weird. Like, my mother's father fell asleep playing the violin on the roof drunk in the middle of winter and froze to death. I got another relative Jesus. that threw himself in front of the Vilamos, the Hungarian... A subway system. I got a grandfather who died during sex with his 25 year old wife, and he was 50 at the time. Like, everybody's fucking weird. There's nobody just normal in my family. It sounds like you have a similar thing. Yeah. And we were like wild teenagers, too. I think there's that common denominator. Yeah. And I think you and I get hung up on small things daily and i obsess about i obsess about things too like you get obsessed with like your nft things i'm obsessed with the royals (laughs) right now um but listen to this one and tell me if you understand what i'm going through because i'm not even sure i understand what i'm going through yeah i can't wait to unpack it okay so i've been i've never really been a big snorer in my life but lately i've been snoring like every night and i know this because i wake up and my throat's kind of dry but I sickly, oddly enjoy it because it's a new habit that I have. It's like a <laughs> new thing. I don't know why. I, I thought I'd do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like amped up about snoring. <laughs> Holy shit. I know. But I'm kind of stoked because it's like, oh, this is a new thing I'm doing. I don't understand why. And I like that it bothers Tom because he's like, God, you're snoring. That's what I that's what I was gonna say. I think you like it because you're like, yeah, you and you have to accept this too. Like, you know, <laughs> you're like, and I fucking snore. You're like, and yeah. I fucking snore. It's like, snore. oh, you thought it was you thought it was ending with the burping and the <laughs> No. Like I got a new thing. Now I'm snoring. Go to bed. <laughs> you know? Because I think maybe like, that's what it is. You've said before that, like, yeah. uh, in your relationship and just in life, like Tom is like an alpha, yeah. and I think this is your little way of like, who's the alpha now? <laughs> like, yeah, good luck sleeping while I'm fucking snoring in your ear. I think you're right. Yeah. Do you think it's yeah? It's vindictive. It's a little passive aggressive. Like no, and also because he's been the snorer in our relationship for so many years, and now now it's like here's a little taste of your own medicine you right but then but so so there's some of that but then i also enjoy snoring when i sleep alone i enjoy waking up like i wake myself up, up. is you, that is that you're what you're taking it is? up space you're like yeah I'm, you, you feel good yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. taking up space yeah i think you're right <laughs> I'm, I'm kicking you know when a dog takes a shit and then they kick their legs back i'm yeah, kicking yeah, dirt yeah. at my my caca <laughs> yeah like <laughs> smell that one yeah yeah you're like yeah. i'm here i'm enjoying my own wow yeah isn't that nice. weird though that I enjoy snoring? I never thought I would. You wake up and you're like, ah, you're like yes. Yeah, like I wow. woke up kind of choking the other night, like on my back. I was like, ah, oh uh, god, life. You I'm feel like, alive. You're, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're taking up space. You feel alive. Yeah, I'm like it's crazy. Oh, breathe. I can breathe. Like I was so happy to be alive. Well, it's because you're not somebody who like. Listen, Tom likes to drive race cars. You yeah. like to sleep on your back and choke a little. <laughs> it's your both of your ways to feel alive a little bit. You know, 
I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> because what's interesting. I see him like getting out of the BMW, crazy. taking his helmet off. He's like, that was crazy. And I see you waking up in the middle of the night like, <laughs> like oh, that was crazy. <laughs> And then it's like, that's why you guys work, you know? It's like the little, like, uh, da, da, like the, uh, the, the, so the theme true. song. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, right, he's the odd couple. Da, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. yeah, I think because, um, like, life to me is so, I, maybe because life to me was so overstimulating as a younger, as a kid. Like, my whole life has been overstimulating. So now the thrills are like so minute because I'm like, I'm all thrilled out. Like I don't want to fucking do any, I don't want to race car drive. That stuff to me is like, that's danger. Someone's going to die doing that. Cause I have a relative of fucking night or something. See, like, this is sense? why we get along. I think. Yeah. When you were like, why do we get along? Is it yeah. this? Is it that? I'm done. Yeah. You know, like, I'm done I'm with like life. Yeah. people are like, Oh, like I talked about this before. Like you get on these fucking dating apps and all these girls are just like, I want, I want someone to go on adventures with. No. <laughs> That's not me. And you know what's funny is like back in the day when I was fucking 18 years old, it's like, no. and I don't know if it's whether you're lying to a chick or you're just like, yeah, I'll go on adventures with you. Yeah. And then like fucking a month later, you're like, I don't want to go on an adventure. Like, I don't, I don't there's not that month either. thing anymore where it's like, oh, we're in this honeymoon stage. Like I tell girls right away. <laughs> I'm like, I no adventures. <laughs> no fucking none of this shit. Like I'm not, I, I'm not backpacking the Maku Piku. I'm not doing any of this shit. Like it's not happening with me. I'm fucking. I've had the same three fucking gym shirts for three years. They might stink. Yeah. I don't. I do like. But here's the deal. Every girl I date is like, you're so fun to be around, but you don't do fun things. You know? Right. <laughs> right. I'm like, well, that I need someone who wants that. You know, who's like, okay, like, uh, yeah, I don't need because, like you said, for me. Like being young, it was so stimulating, whether it was Too New much. York City, yeah. uh, acting, yes. Soprano, this, like all the shit was going down. And then I moved to, after Sopranos, I moved to Vegas alone, like, cause I was like, I need more, yeah. like, you know, and then, and now like I just, but I hit 30 uh, or 28, I stopped drinking and now I'm like, I'm just, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Well, here's, so let me, let me ask you this. <laughs> so, okay. So, so, okay. But then do you get... Cause okay, so my dream is like I wish Tom would not race car drive or do all this reckless dog shit. Like I kind of wish he could be more like us, where we're like I just want to like sit here and like talk about boogers and whatever snoring, which we do, we do, Tom and I do. But would you get annoyed though, actually being? Because that's what marriage is. I think a good a good relationship can be two people who can be very mundane because it's boring you're, you're living your life with somebody can you actually live with somebody day in and day out and not want to kill them because you're very much an alone dog now yeah i can but here's a, like i need somebody who like you know i was dating this girl a year ago and she was like i'm going my you know my sister's had a baby i'm going to new york for a week i was like have a great time like it's so <laughs> genuine like i'm just like yeah have a blast like you know and like I can feel any girl I date. They want me to need them more. They want, yeah, and you don't. You know, and I'm like, oh, go, like, oh, that's great. Like, you know, I think in a normal relationship or like, you know, I guess what people say is a normal oh, relationship. Like right. a, a girl's like, I have to go to Jenny's bachelor party this weekend. The guy's like, well, don't, you know, don't think you're, well, what are you guys going to do? I'm like, oh, have fun. Like, and then I'm like, on to the other thing. Like, I, I don't, I don't even, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's no... There's zero part of me that's like, I wish you'd stay with me this weekend. Like, really? I, I don't feel that. No, it's zero. Like, I'm like, oh shit, go have fun. Because, you know, because here's the deal. You're avoidant. Because I know you're I'm not, I know avoid. I'm not fun. I know I'm not down to do the fun stuff and I'm not going to pretend. So if she's like, my girlfriends want to go to fucking Machu Picchu and just, I'm like, that's dope. You need that. Yeah, you go, go do it. Have fun. Enjoy. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I'm not a Machu Picchu guy. <laughs> like, I'm not, I see, oh, all these Ugh. girls, like, they're fucking, they're, there's like, there's girls like, uh, what do you call it? Zip lining upside oh, down on their no. dating profile. I'm like, there's none of this. Yeah, I think this is very misleading. Uh, otherwise, everybody's a thrill seeker. Everybody must be into, uh, I'm not. I think, no. I think it's got to be like, I like to sit down and watch TV and <laughs> yeah. I eat. I, um, eat I should put day. the picture when I was like eight years old and I swam with a dolphin on there and be like, hey, this is the last <laughs> thing I did. 
<laughs> when I was eight, I met a dolphin. But well, besides that, like yeah. it's just me sitting here and then sitting over there. Yeah, and, because relationships are not zip lining and cliff diving and. But some people, it is. I I. You know, yes, but are those addicts? I mean, these are people with high needs for excitement, and and quite frankly, marriage is very low excitement. You're mostly dealing with like, <laughs> you know, you're dealing with mundane, off a lot of times awfully hard things. So you know what I mean. But I think like, the, gotta, the people who want who are these people who want the excitement are the people who, unlike you, when they wake up choking in the middle of the night, they go, "Oh no." Oh, you know, like they're like, oh, my God, was I choking? Where are you? You're like, hell, yeah, I was choking again, dude. You know, because like that's your I'm mentally. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's like the I mental this or whatever, where they want. They want to be like swing. Oh, like, oh, uh, man, I'm getting ready to like swing from this tree. It's like, what? Like, why? Yeah, I think because life was enough of an adventure for us growing up. Like, it's it's enough, guys. I've had enough adventure. I'm yeah, done. I just like, want to like be safe uh, and warm and happy and fed and. I want to sleep a lot. I want to like be comfortable. Yeah. If I went to yeah. some like witch and she like looked in a cauldron and she was like, oh, you have 50 years, very slow, boring <laughs> life. I'd be like, wow. Like that's a me. You know what I mean? Where it's like if she was like, oh, five years from now, I see you in Italy. I'd be like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> She's like, oh, a lot of working, big oh, adventure yeah. work for you. I'd be like, oh, my God. I can't do Just fucking put me out of my misery. <laughs> You know? I know. You know what I think about? Because I'm, I'm really cognizant now of my scheduling and how much I do. And it, it really started with COVID where we did nothing for a while. And I'm like, did and it, I always did it. What? I said, did it? The scheduling stuff? You said like it started with COVID where you started doing nothing. For me, it, did, it, it started <laughs> yeah. pre-COVID. <laughs> yeah. I was living that COVID you life pre-COVID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One thing a day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking of. Is it is it Ray Stern? It was Howard's mother that would go, you do one thing a day. Yeah. One thing a day. And that's it. That's it. And I think that there's a lot of truth to that. I do one fucking thing a day. Yeah. And when I do more than one thing a day, it's misery for me. Like, I won't go fucking go to five podcasts and then I'm going to go to the dentist and then I'm going to go get the kids. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's like I podcast, I go home. This is it. I'm home. This is it. I'm home here now. And that's fucking it. I'm going to have dinner and I'm going to take a shit and I'm going to go to bed. And that's it. Yeah. I'm going to fucking do 500 things. I've already I, done that. I, life. And then I hate I'm it. like not present at those things. I'm just thinking about the next thing. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm like, oh, wait, do I have to, what time? And, and it's like, where, if that's your only option, of course, yeah, I understand it. But it's like, if I can do this today and go to the dentist tomorrow, just like, tomorrow. why would I? Yeah. Like, by the way, even <sighs> a fucking dinner. Stacking. Like, if I'm like, it's if I'm like, oh, yeah, like if somebody's like, like, oh, we'll, we'll do this podcast and we'll go to dinner, I'm like, Oof. Oof. I'm like, that's a day. I like, agree. You know? I'm like, wow, okay. Meanwhile, I'm just, I, I'd be standing at home eating. Jamie's Agreed. so we talk about this that you think it's funny that I stand and eat so Jamie's <laughs> uh I went to dinner with Jamie's husband like two weeks ago and he came over uh to see my place and he looked around he's like where he's like you need somewhere to eat bro <laughs> and I was like what the fuck do you mean and he's like where are you gonna eat and I was like I could eat here I could eat there <laughs> I'm like but he's like no you need like a table to sit and eat and, and I, I wish someone was in the room I would have been like what is this guy <laughs> what is this guy talking about? Like, I was just like, no, dude. Like, I don't want that. Like, that's what that's, you do. But that's deprivation. So we talk about this on this show <laughs> that that's what the Pajitsky effect came from, which yeah. is like, well, wait a minute. I can get more than one phone charger or I can get a table to eat on. And it's because you're so, you grew up, I don't know, I don't know, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but I, would, I grew up in such a neglectful environment <laughs> that like, I can... Oh wait! I don't have to eat canned food. I can make food. I can or I can buy raspberries. That was a big thing for me because my mother would not. The raspberries too expensive. It's four dollars a buck, and I'm like, fuck you! Yeah, I buy twenty raspberries. Suck my tits. This is why I make money so I can buy fucking raspberries. Oh, yeah. Think little things like that where you're like, yeah, I could have like twelve bowls. I like bowls. I'm gonna have twelve of them because I'm an adult now. Yeah. I mean, maybe. See, I still don't. I have no plates. We've talked about that. Yeah, I have you no still plate. are like. I, in my old apartment, I actually have now a bunch of silverware, but in my old apartment, I, in my sink, it was a one fork, one spoon, one. Yeah. Knife. And I was like, oh, I just use that. You right. know, like, why would I, why do I want three spoons? Because then I'm going to have to wash three spoons. Oh, so you see it more for the utility of like, uh, I'm lazy and I don't want to clean Yeah, but, those but I think maybe that's like it started for me standing eating from like the deprived the <laughs> deprived thing but now i enjoy it like if i sit down <laughs> the angle that i'm looking at the bowl at doesn't feel right to me i like the bird's eye view 
you know i like to fully see everything i'm ingesting or we're like you know if i'm like look like because then like someone's talking and you're like oh like i got how do i work or when you're standing it's just all right there i know i get you how much do you love eating alone oh i know if i showed you i have but i mean if i showed like the world and i will photos and video of my kitchen after i eat it's like carnage it's crazy like it it looks like it, when i got here there were what 12 people you guys were having lunch and there was like 12 of you eating mexican that's what my kitchen looks like oh like, my god it's everywhere everything like it's just because i don't i'm not one of those people who are like oh i'm gonna put the chicken in the pan well then i'll i'll clean up the this or the that oh, yeah. i let everything go yeah like it's let just it everything's a fucking mess and then right when i'm done it's like Oof, like you look around and you're like, Jesus I, Christ, bones. I mean, I had lunch with you, what is it, a month ago? We went to have sushi at an odd time. It was like the 3.30 time. It was weird. You and I eat at odd times. And, and yeah. it was like, <laughs> keep it coming, lady. Like we kept going Hell and yeah. going. And then I tapped out and then you still kept going and going and going. Yeah. And, and I, I didn't even amazing. like that place. Like you saw, listen, when we went to dinner, what happened? Remember the waiter came over at the end and he was like, sir, we're talking about you in the back. That was very impressive. <laughs> remember? He was like, he was like, what you did, remember? He came over and he was like, there's, yeah. there's like yeah. talk about what you just did here. And we're like, that's very, yeah. It's so bizarre. It's great. It's but, fun. You're fun to eat with. Though. Yeah, I just it's once a day. Yeah, there's there's no shame in like no. you know I'm not like oh uh, like what like, no. I'm just a pig pig yeah yeah no, because fun. that's you know it's it's my like you said when you're like when you wake up choking you're like oh I'm alive when I'm, I'm eating alive. I'm alive <laughs> I'm fucking alive baby yeah. that's and, oh eating is the best but eating alone especially I nothing angers me more when I'm like I finally have because I pretty much eat once a day like a, I grow like a big thing. And then someone wants to ask me a question or talk to me when I'm eating. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, and I wish I could find a place in my house to eat alone, like to take that plate of food, like maybe like hide it somewhere, like hide in my bedroom. Go on the roof with a violin. <laughs> <laughs> Just freeze to death out there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we were also talking about, uh, there's a few things we were talking about. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. About um, vag dryers and weenie shrinkers, what to you is a boner killer? And then we're talking superficial. I'll give you. I'll give you one for me. Yeah, yeah. I me I think it's very gross when a guy is like, I don't I don't eat the sushi. Well, why? And, and I don't try. Uh, I don't like yeah. new things. I don't try food. I think that's very tacky. Like, shut the fuck up. Don't be a pussy. Eat exotic food or doesn't like flavor i'll be like oh no see i don't know why they're not coming to me as much like mentally because i know i have a lot but I'll, the <laughs> ones that are coming to me are like physical stuff like sure again it's one of these things where if a girl's like oh i don't eat that i'm like great good for you or if a girl's like oh i want to go here with my friends i'm like great good like i don't know i i don't really <laughs> care about yeah, other people no, yeah more so like the, the, i i do care i i genuinely think that's great yeah, you're you know not. I mean? It like doesn't I'm, offend I'm you. like, oh, in my head, I'm like, that's good for her because that's for her time to get out. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you need to go. You need to go and like do because I'm I'm not like there was a girl who I dated for three months who was like, you haven't planned one thing for us. She's like, can you just plan one thing? And it turned into a thing because I was like, fine, I'll do it. Like, what do you want me to plan? You know? And then like I'm like, fine, yeah, I'll plan a dinner. And then like we, we plan this thing. And I'm just like, okay. And then like at the thing, she was like, oh, you're not being like your fun self. I'm like, cause I don't want to be here. <laughs> like, what do you mean? This isn't what I want to do. This is what you, I'm doing this for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you're like, hey, how come you're not having a great time at whatever thing is like, because, and by the way, I, that's not saying there weren't many times where I was like, hey, you want to go to a restaurant now and grab food? Like, <laughs> yeah, I did that all the time, but oh, I would never be like, thing. I'd be like Wednesday night. Oh no. Eight o'clock. Oh no! Like uh, that's not my thing, and she'd be like, "How come we never like? I want to get dressed up, and I want to do this." And I'm like, Ugh. "Oh no!" Yeah, and so like when it. we're there, when we're at that thing, <laughs> no. I'm literally just like, "All right, when are the appetizers coming? Like, when are we this?" So I'm just like counting down, and like, "Yeah, so how was your day? Like, okay, <laughs> blah, blah blah." And then it's like, and then it's over, and then she, and then it leads to like not what she expected because she wasn't, it's I wasn't happy. Fun. Yeah, and then I it's don't just like, like it either. So it just leads to beat, but. Uh, it's a physic, nightmare. I, I think of like physical things that I don't like. And, but by the way, when we talk about <laughs> mental, it's when girls are like, that's what I want. I want adventure. And like, I, when I hear that, I'm like, mm. nope. Like, I retract <laughs> totally. But here's what I don't like 
I don't mind. Like, I think <laughs> tattoos are hot on chicks. Sure. Like, if you don't have tattoos, great. If you have tattoos, great. I'm, I'm indifferent. But when a girl has that look where it's like one tattoo here and then like six <laughs> inches over, one tattoo here. And they're like all individual like characters or this. I'm like, ugh. Like, it's like a <laughs> sailor. You know what I mean? You know, like back in the day when like sailors just had like random tattoos on them. It's like it's like when a suitcase had like the fucking postage stamps like on yes. it. Like, oh, I was in fucking Brazil or whatever. Yes, like, yes. I, and, and I know there are a lot of women who have that look and they like it it's just it just turns me off see this this is the kind of stuff i like hearing this is what i'm saying like just like the weird <laughs> like for you that's like a no i can it's see so a funny smoking so hot chick yeah who has the like random tattoos like six inches apart of just like different things and i'm like ugh, ugh. and that's just a turn off and i don't know like i'm not trying to be a dick like it's just that's what my brain does like yeah. i see that and i'm like something about it to me rings like ugh. like it's that not is hot. just not where like if a girl has a full sleeve of tattoos i'm like okay like yeah, sure. If that's what you want to do, but it's the spacing that it's, bothers yeah, you. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like when you see Nadav. Do you know what I'm talking about? Right, but, but right, it's a whole bunch of small tattoos that are next to each other. Like this one's for this. This one's for this. Like it's not one piece. It's not a unifying. Right, and it's like a very like theme. um like I don't even know what they call it. Like not a goth girl. Like a not, not like a poster girl. There's like a pinup girl. Pin up, oh. like a pinup girl. Can you look that up, Nadav? Yeah, like, let's see. Pinup girl. Thanks, Annie. It's like pinup girl yeah, tattoo looks of where they're just like it's like oh there's space in between like one thing here one i know it's, yeah it's not like, like a sleeve like a full filled in fucking Nadav. yeah i think go back Nadav, no, to where you just were just... like tattoos <sighs> yeah like even that the girl who's like knee, on her knees right there with the with the like stuff yeah like something like that like see how like that's like an individual tattoo and then right. like inches over there's yeah. another individual tattoo i know and then inches over the you like and it I'm like, filled in yeah, yeah i don't like it to be like these like stamps right on, they do like, look like stamps and not like unified and they're all the same like they're they're all this like this is this is okay because there's like it's a different design but like there's the, the, a girl will have 30 tattoos on her arms and they're all the same looking but they all mean different things like yeah see i guess because i've never i've never noticed that thing like it doesn't bother because i just never noticed it but now i will look at it and i will get angered by it because i will notice it now yeah you gotta see it it's just not it's like it's just not oh and you want to hear the fucking biggest turn off and sorry sorry to you sorry to basically everyone oh, who's listening to this pod i can, I can tell you a few. if i get in a girl's car and it smells like her kids because that happened to me last night. I got into an Uber and I was like, I, when I saw the Uber coming, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I've never seen a hot chick Uber driver. And she was like, hot. And I got in the car and not the whiff of <laughs> children's saliva and like, and on the ground, there were like, um, like, you know, those like snackable wrappers yeah, for like the fucking thing. And I'm like this, like the whole ride, I'm like, oh my God, the smell of children no. in here. So when you say like, like penis shrinkers it's like w the hope Ugh. in me when i saw this car pull up like, and i was like oh my god like look at this chick and then to get in and i was like whoa yeah. like i was like just roll down the window and please i just need to get where i'm going yeah i don't it's, blame you and by the way that's not a thing i'm choosing you know what no, i mean no, it's no. like it's just it's just as soon as it hits me it's like oh, because uh, because here's the thing also I know a lot of people. I've been in your car. I don't go, oh, this reeks of kids. That's true. Yeah. I've been in Jamie's car all the time. I have a lot of friends who have kids, and I don't go like, oh, this reeks of kids. So it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's probably they're not cleaning out the car as regularly as they should. I don't know, maybe. See, and just like that car seat has drool on it from like a year yeah, ago. Yeah, or barf. Know? Like you gotta, usually vomit yeah, and va piss oh, and stuff. That's yeah, the worst. It's just like gross. smelling Kid, and it's not so the smell gross. of actual kids. It's like stale kids. Stale kids. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't like the smell of cologne in Ubers. I'm like, please. Yeah, like, yeah. Fuck yeah. off <laughs> with the smells. I don't need the synthetic smell. I think for me, like the biggest turnoff with people is bad teeth. I cannot handle you. If I look at your chompers and they're all jacked up, I'll be like, dude, just fix it. Like even when I was poor, I fixed my fucking teeth. And sandals, of course. Men in sandals is yeah. such a turnoff. Like, you could be the hottest guy in the world, and you're wearing, like, fucking sandals, bro, and your feet... Like, Jesus, he's, like, the strappy brown. Look the up, ones like, that strappy. change from the, your, you wearing them. Like, they make, like, a dark imprint where your foot is, right? <laughs> that <laughs> is fucking gross. But flip-flops are okay. 
Not just I Burks. I rock flip flops like to the pool and shit. Flip flops are different. Flip flops are no. right. But yeah, this no, shit. No, no, no. Not just Burks though. I'm talking like sandals, like leather man, like the front, they, they, like the strappies come to the, they meet at the toe. It's thong sandals, you mean? No. There's just Google like leather men's sandals. Ugh. It's so gross. I hate men's sand. Yeah, like kind of like those, the third ones. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the those, one. the closed toe leather. One more over. That is my nightmare. Oh, that's hard. That's yeah, horrible. That's, I don't even know if I could be friends with somebody who's like no. rocking those. Because it's just like, what are you thinking? Like you, you see that and so you're drawn to those. I like, go, oh, here's my hundred bucks. Well, I've met many attract. I've met attractive men, and then they'll show up wearing that stuff, and you're like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. <sighs> it's just so dickless. It's so gross. What's so yeah? What's what's uh, other stuff for that's you? That's a gross if, if man, a man sandal. Well, there's a ton. I mean, we've gone over so many of these on the show. I hate, ugh, I hate men playing video games. I think that's extremely juvenile. I feel like you're just describing Casim. By the way, <laughs> just so you know, Casim G. Casim G. Sweet yeah. Casim G. I probably he's, he's big, big those sandal guy. Like I, I he is? when I met him, I ripped on him for wearing those, and then he made fun of me for wearing what he called ballerina socks with like, <laughs> uh, with like you know like a uh, 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 ultra boost and like stuff like that. <laughs> Cut to two years later, kids wearing, yeah, he's wearing ballerina socks with ultra boost. You know, <laughs> I wasn't wearing the fucking dirty Jesus sandals. And then he he play he plays video games basically that. for a living. But G four, yeah, he's like got the show. I mean, he makes a great living doing. Well, he all that he stuff. found out that it got canceled. Oh, all shit. of G four got canceled, and he found out on the internet like everyone else. So now he's streaming. Oh, no. Go check out Casim G on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's uh, but but everything you're describing is very Casim G. See, but here's the thing: is that when I hear him talk, like he doesn't. He doesn't talk like a man child. He does seem no, very, very mature. Yeah. So yeah. I guess maybe, yeah, he's the exception. To, he's so handsome too, by the way. He's very mature. Such he's such a fella. good. By the way, that's his uh, his like photo on Twitch and stuff. Look how funny he is. Go to the one to the right of this photo <laughs> down there. Yeah, like that's his photo. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I people stuff. try and like look cool on like their main profile pictures. And like yeah. that's it. He just... God, he so. Oh my God, I love him so much. And he wants children. I always hear yeah, him talking he wants about that. Kids very much, and he's just like he's a really good. He's the type of dude where, if my sister was thirty five, like I'd want her to date Casim for sure. I want my sister to date him. Too. Yeah, like he's just he's, he's a adorable. really good dude. And even when he's not a good dude, like you know, everybody at times is not. He's trying to be a good dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's not. He's just he's a sweetheart. Is he dating anybody now? Yeah, he's dating somebody <gasps> now. Good, yeah, good. She's a, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about who she is. Okay, then let's not. Yeah, she's a, uh, she also likes video games. Well, that's important. Which I is see, what he needs, yeah. I think it is important if you're really, because he's really deep into that culture. Like, he really genuinely adores it and he makes a living talking about it and stuff. Are you a big day. video game guy, Annie? Oh, yeah. Huh? Whoa. He's he, me. Uh, he is, yeah. Am I, uh, I mean, no, not anymore. I actually, I'm kind of upset that I can't anymore. And maybe that really is what it, what it is. It kind of became a man. So I can't, I can't oh, invest did you hear as that? much time. Wait, what did you just say? He started said, smoking weed. I, I, said, I said maybe. I said maybe. It could be perhaps that I became a man and now I just don't have the fucking time or the energy to invest in video games anymore. I mean, I want to. Interesting. Because we were sitting, fucking, I saw you go like that, like when we were talking about Casim and video games. Oh, no, I think because we saw him with a chick, and I was like, I wonder if it's that chick. Oh. oh. No. Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> no. He's not Batterina? that kind. No. Batterina. I remember that chick. See, Annie, interesting. You grew up, and you didn't have time. See? And when a woman sees a grown man playing video games, they're like, oh, he hasn't grown up. It's still a little boy. It's little boy vibes. It could be. It could be, yeah. I, I, yeah go put I've on tried. your fucking underoos and... and <laughs> See, go I'm, count your figurines, nerd. I yeah. think I think if somebody, I, I think it. if a dude is like <laughs> so into gross. like, oh, there's one game I love to play, and I play this when I have free time, or like I do. That's one thing. Yeah. But when you're like a gamer and like you identify as that, like almost identifying as anything to me is corny. I agree. Where like when Maybe your whole identity is. is like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm waiting outside the video game store early for the, it's like you're a fucking <laughs> come on, man. And like, I love sneakers. When I used to see people waiting outside of a fucking store for sneakers, I'd be like, in America, get, forget it, forget it. Like just do something else. What like, are you doing? I would. 
But I'm also somebody, I can't I wait in that. a line for a place before something's open. Unless, if you were like, this Ugh. place is giving out $20 bills, I'd be like, nah, <laughs> I don't want it. More, if more money, if we're talking more money, like if you're like, yeah, this place is giving out a fucking Bitcoin, I'd be like, all right, I'll, I, might, <laughs> I might wait outside a little bit. But if, it's just like, I can't, I, there's something about waiting in line, and inside of a store oh, is different. Man. When you're waiting outside of a store, in a line, to me, it just says something about the type of person well, you of are. Of course, like, what? but it shouldn't. It's so stupid. Well, and especially if you're if you're an adult doing. I understand if you're a teenager, right. oh, totally. And Ky- Kylie Kardashian or whatever, yes. Kylie Jenner has a, a lipstick thing out in a store. Yeah, okay, you're a teenager, but if you're a grown man and it is a work day and you're standing in line for fucking Star Wars Five or whatever, like get get your whole life together. You get know what I just realized. Life. We're describing Chasm again. No! <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, bro. Oh, sorry, Cass. No, you know, that's what I love about Cass. He he owns all this shit that he'll be like, nope, that's me. And I love him for it. He waits. Christina. No, I'm so embarrassed. I, I, like, I love him so much. And this now is I'm so embarrassed. As bad as it gets to me. Uh. He waits <laughs> outside of the Apple store. No. In line. No, when Cassa. the new phones come out. <laughs> I'm Why? Like, why? There's no shortage. You will get one. You will. They'll mail it to you. You can buy one online, and they will probably just mail it to you when it comes out. If we have time, I'll call him right now and ask him. <laughs> it's just stupid. Call him right now. Let's why ask him. You, we got time. Why wait, would you? Why would you wait? But can't he just order it by mail, and then it shows that's up? What, that's what I said. Just oh. delayed gratification. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Call, call Casim G and put it on speakerphone. Oh, she can do all that. Yeah. Stupid bitch. She never hears me. I. I just. I don't. There's no world to me no. where somebody's like because here, For I, a here's product? here's how I always think. No oh, way. Wow. Yo. Yo, you're you're on uh, where my mom's at right now. Hi, Cassum. Oh, hi guys. What's happening? <laughs> Nothing. Wait, is wait. What sounds better if I do it like this or if I do it like this? Say something, Cass. Oh, uh, hello. This is That's me. Better. Okay. Uh, so, Cass, here's what we're talking about. By the way, I told everyone to check Cassum G out on twitchtv Cassum. Is that what we're doing? Okay, all right, that'll explain why I have all these alt-right guys in the chat. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Um, what, what I wanted to, what we wanted to say to you is, why, can you explain to us why you wait outside of the Apple store oh when the new God. iPhones come out? <laughs> <laughs> so I love them. Uh, okay, all right, so... Uh, this is a, this, this is a great question that doesn't really have a great answer. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I think we're going to like have, the answer. <laughs> I have a thing of like really needing to be like having the, the latest and greatest. I'm like an early adopter and I have a fear. <laughs> so I wait in line because I have a fear that I'm, I'm going to have to wait. God forbid, I'm going to have to wait eight days to get the thing that I want. And I want to be right there on the tip to have it so I can like use it and then quickly forget that i even like it you know what i mean (laughs) what's the longest you ever waited in line for something like outside of it before a store opened i waited for a playstation 2 at a best buy when i worked there i waited for 24 hours and then listen to this 24 hours when you worked there 24 hours with some friends and i got in and opened the, the best buy opened and i got the playstation i had to go straight to school i was still in high school I went to school. I was on running on no sleep. I walk into the wrong class, and everyone's looking at me. I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I think I walked into the wrong class. And then I, I somehow finish school, and I go uh, home, and my boss, who was also waiting in line for me, calls me into work. I was so excited to play the PlayStation when I got home. He's like, I need you to come into work. I'm like, can I just stay home and play the PlayStation? He's like, no, you got to come in. I didn't even get to play it. <laughs> for 24 hours after I bought it. What was the point? Yeah. And then you're working in the Best Buy and there's just PlayStations everywhere. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's uh. a sickness and I'm, I'm embarrassed by it. But you should uh, be. You know, I, I, what I about I movies? Does guy. he stand in line for like Star Wars movies and stuff? Can you hear that? No, I, probably... I didn't hear that. Will, will like... you stand in line or like go early for like if a big movie's coming out, will you be like first no. one there? Okay. No. Wow, just technology. Just, te- just technology is kind of what the- and then I don't even do it every year for the iPhone. It's just every like three years now. When you, wow. when you, the last time that you went and waited outside of a uh, Apple store for hours yeah. to get the iPhone, were you the only guy who drove up in a Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> there, there was uh, the last time I did it was at the Century City Mall, and um, so you you kind of have to like park underground and then walk up. So it was hard to tell. But the people near me were like Chinese people decked out in Yeezys, and uh, like I think I was next to like a handicapped person and a bunch of Chinese people. So like I couldn't make any friends. And um, who did you relate to more? <laughs> definitely the handicapped person. <laughs> No, oh. let me ask you: do, do women find it un- unappealing the video game stuff? Like, what, what do what do most what are the different reactions you've had from women about the, your love of technology and video games? Um, well, I mean, right now I'm I'm dating a gamer, so like perfect. It's, it's really like a connection point for us. But typically, she better not be playing games some, with my boy. That's <laughs> typically it hasn't been something that I like to throw out there. You know oh, I mean? why? Like the com- Interesting. The comic books, the games aren't something. <laughs> you don't throw it out there. The f- she, you don't no, have I'm- to. You go to your house. It's like comic book, uh, a comic oh book store. Oh, my God. Well, if they're in my house, it's a deal's already done. I locked the door from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> done deal. By the way, that's, that's, the, that's the title of your comic book series. I locked the door from the outside. <laughs> yeah, it's a done deal, baby. Because okay. Ka- when you go in Castle's so room, it's like it. a shrine to. Oh, I know. Like, I've heard you guys talk about it. Yeah. It's disgusting. I remember one time <laughs> on, on Pajama Pants, I think you'd mentioned it. Like you came over to his house and he had it in, in the wrapping and everything. And I remember being like, that would dry my vag out so fast. And he has like a, he has like a Im- imprint of a Bigfoot foot. And then like alien <sighs> pictures I, everywhere. I I'm going to throw up. I'm, I feel <laughs> sick. I feel but, sick, like, Cass. Honestly, Christina, I. I sort of relegate all that stuff to one room. Oh, in the oh okay, good. In the house, so, the like, cool we room. We would be able to fuck. We would be able to fuck really anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let it bleed into the bedroom. I hope. Yeah, I, I'm. Okay. I'm, my thing is like I'm a huge fucking dork, but I'm like very <laughs> cognizant of the fact that this stuff is disgusting to people like <laughs> you, and so I try and keep it in, in like well, a they, contained, confined that, space. See, this is all I ask about ner- nerds and nerd culture. This is why I was so mad at the kid at Starbucks with the Star Trek pin helping me. It's like, <laughs> if you're going to like dorky stuff, be ashamed. Be Have, right. have yeah. the awareness. Shame I carry. Yeah. Absolutely. Anytime yeah. I walk out my door, I have this. It's, it's like 20 pounds of shame I Good. carry around. Good. Because you know yeah. it. You know that women don't like it. You know that it's a dorky thing. Same with my goth culture. I keep it in one room in the house. I don't go out <laughs> yeah. and dress like Susie Sue every day because I know it's stupid. It's my it's own the thing. Same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. I know. Me and you are the same. I think you should come over. No. <laughs> you guys could stream your relationship. <laughs> stream or Twitch it or whatever the fuck yeah. stupid shit. But that's what we were Twitch, saying before I called you is like how much we love you even though you do yes. these things because you have that in your head of like you're not one of these guys who are like, how come everyone doesn't like comic books? <laughs> you know, you you get it. You're like, yeah, I know this is fucking weird, but like every Tuesday I lay them out on my table and I like color coordinate them and I do all this stuff. And you're, but like you said, you have the shame, which is all we ask. It's all you, yeah. And, and and it's my it's my job to maintain that, you know. And I appreciate you guys bringing it up on a huge one of the biggest podcasts in the game and, and sort of laying me out like this. I, it's great. And if you guys could come check me out. On- <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, keep you it up, babe. It. We love you. We love you. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> Later, babe. I love how you call each other, babe. Yeah, it's, it's okay, start- babe. It started as like a thing where there was this guy who we knew who was just like the fakest like L.A. Hollywood of <laughs> this. And when we were doing an impression of him, we would throw in, we'd be like, oh, come on, babe. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then cut to like four years later. It's like, all right, babe. babe. Like, I'll see you later, oh, babe. And then people yeah. think where. The douchebag, the, the fake Hollywood asshole, which is great. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Well, I'm so glad that Kasim is aware of how unattractive it is to be into this stuff. Um, that's all I ask is, you know, an awareness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. be ashamed. And you know what's interesting about Kasim that you know it's it's a lot of people, but I'm the type of person where if I say like I haven't worked out, it means that for the last month I've only worked out like twice a week or whatever. Where Kasim was the guy who was going, because Kasim didn't have a job and was like me, just chilling. And he was working out five days a week, like religiously. Oh, wow. And he was like ripped. And then he got a job and he was like, yeah, I haven't gone to the gym in 18 months. Like 18 months. He'll just completely stop and bail on it where I'm like, I don't know how someone does that. 
Yeah, I do. I can. I can bail on it. Yeah, quick. I don't. I don't know how. I, 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 I don't do. know how somebody goes from like no noticing the benefits of working out mentally. I do. And physically, and then you could be like, "Oh yeah, when is the last time I worked out?" Like, yeah, a year and a half ago. Because I hear people like you, oh, I when can. you start doing it, and you talk about how much you love it and I how good it. you feel. It's so good, and it, everything's changed for me in such a positive way. And then I can just start <laughs> drinking tonight and be like, ah, "I'm just gonna eat like pumpkin pie." And but then I, I wake I up tomorrow that. and be like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna keep on this." thing i'm just gonna eat pizza now i'm just gonna i i totally get that i've done that for like 10 days or this but uh, then it gets to a point where like i'm like a i'm like a animal in a cage like i'm like i need, and by the way i'm not someone who's yeah, like, oh fucking work go oh, good but it's just like you're i twitchy. get you get twitchy i get yeah like i get what's in your there. animal i don't know i feel like we've talked about this i forget yeah, but you're very because because if you need to work out like you got you have to get it physically out of you then you're like squirrely like you're like Am I a squirrel? Maybe you're a squirrel. Like wow. A bit of a twitchy, tweakery, a turtle. He's a, a giant twink. tortoise. N- wow. He's who's, a tortoise? Who said this? You? All right. No. Maybe. But that's slow. Yeah, I have. I'm like a fast twitch tortoise. A fast twitch tortoise? Yeah, I got you go the- go at your own pace. Yeah, but then I also like when- Because here's the deal. When, when If shit's going down, the tortoise is just done. Where If I have to, I'll do it. Like, I, I can do it. Where a tortoise doesn't have to. I'm- I don't know. What's an animal that like chooses to be slow? Because <laughs> that's more a like a lion, a lazy lion. But then a lazy they, lion. they run. Yeah, I thought the sloth, but a sloth is so slow. slow. But I am kind of slothy. Damn. <laughs> Manatee. No. Wow. Maybe that's when fat. I was like 12, that was me. Hold, Nadav, can you Google uh, Robert Eiler season one Sopranos? You are so funny. You always hate when you were like 12. That's when everybody's fat, though. That's not true because I was the fattest kid in the class. And everybody's fat. No, at 12. that's see. That's after oh, I lost weight. AJ, can you go? Can you scroll down? See if there's like a real season Anthony one Jr. photo. Figured that out two years ago. That that's me right there. Aww. that was me. And by the way, here's a, and that's what bothers me so much. And it gets me so fucking amped up when people go, "Oh, but you were 12, and that's 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 what happened." Yeah. No one in my class looked like that. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody drank two liters of soda. I would drink two. I would bring a two liter in my room. So what happened? Was it craft services? Like you? No, you that was set? before Sopranos ever started. So what happened was my my. I was a skinny kid. My grandmother passed away and then I broke my arm like oh. all at the same time. Like literally at my grandmother's funeral, I was like, oh, mm. like, you know, like in a fucking cast. And it was that summer. It was whenever where it was just like, oh, well, I can't like do anything. Food feels good. Uh. And I just started eating. And then that was my thing. So like I was, you know, 10 years old and uh, for my birthday, I would eat like a whole pizza. Like, you know what I mean? But it was just. It was Feels constant so junk. I also, now I understand that like you should eat protein when you eat carbs and yes. sugar because it helps you digest. And then you understand all this stuff where like I would wake up and eat an Oreo or like <laughs> oh, just well, eat. It was so just wet. And it was like Oreo soda. I would never eat like it, ugh, it's just it's just fucking disgusting. I ate like a pig. And then I went on the Atkins diet when I was like 13 because I kind of realized I'm like, OK, I want to girls to not be disgusted by me and then like when i when i was on tv i was like oh i think like not only will they not be disgusted by me if i lose weight but i might even have a chance you know like it might be and then uh so i lo- i went on the atkins diet for like two months or three months i lost like 60 pounds oh wow yeah. and then everyone's like oh you were just a baby and i'm like you fucking piece of shit uh, like i was like really were. i worked so fucking hard like to to lose that weight and it was so hard and that's the other thing it's like if you look at photos of me and my, you know, uh, first grade class, second grade class, third grade, whatever, like the, the fat years were, you're like, oh, look at that fat kid. Mm. It's not like, oh, look at look at these 30 fat kids. <laughs> it's like, right, you like know puberty. what I mean? So everyone's like, oh, everyone's fat. And you're like, no, 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 that's not how that works. Like maybe when the kids are like three, they have a little chub or whatever. I was like 12 years old and I was like 200 pounds. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I got big. And then I fun. lost, I went down to 140. And that's when I was like, okay, I could start eating again. I would eat Chinese food mm. and just put unlimited packs of soy sauce. Like it would Oof. be swimming in soy sauce, my food. Mm. And I would just with a spoon. <laughs> just fucking wild. Like I was gross. So good. I was gross. Yeah. I was gross. I could be 800 pounds easily. 
Like oh. when I think about it, like it, I would be so fucking fat if I didn't actively fight this fight. You know what I'm what I'm grateful for is I that now eating. I do have something in my head that does switch. Like if I go three yeah. or four days where I'm being a slob, I have to like I just went away for my friend's uh, wedding and like the day like stuff flying was there and like leading up to it. And I was just like there was stuff going on that the day after his wedding, I went for like a five mile run on the beach. And I was like, Mm. I'm like, when you wake up choking in the middle of the night, you're like, I'm alive. (laughs) Like I was on the beach and I was like, oh my, I was like, I'm so grateful for life and just to be alive and to, and every, like I was like, it's just so, you you just feel so good because you don't have that, whatever that childhood angst. Yeah. That like, you know, that from, just that like uh yeah like you know that uh that feeling well because you can't be uh if you're physically tired too like when right. you think about getting that anxiety out of your body physically like i do i still do ten thousand steps every day like i'm on the treadmill i'll watch something and i'll just do it and you feel so light physically and emotionally after that because you, you you can't be in your head if you've walked it all out and it's know? like if i haven't worked out in three days and like Spam is calling my phone. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. What is fucking spam call? All Why pissed is off. We're like, if I just finished running six miles and spam's calling, no. I'm like, oh, like, hey, so what? Like, I, you yeah. just, you know, it doesn't even register. Like, it's just these, you know, they, they, the guy who, one of the guys who I listen to in meditation is he's like, your, your brain is always looking to hook into yep. something. Bullshit. Yeah. Even if it's fucking just to be angry or if it's to laugh or if it's a bit like, it's looking to hook into yep. something. And when I, I don't know if it's like after, when you're calmer or when you're this, you're aware of it's trying mm. to grab on. So you can kind of be, you know, just being more aware instead of being lost in the in the thing thing of like, yep. oh, like I'm so, you know, like road rage when you're just like, oh, I'm so mad. But then if you're the passenger, sometimes you're looking at the person doing road rage and you're like, oh, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You're taking it out on something so stupid. But to them, they're in that reality of the thing and it's causing, but it's causing my upsetness. Like, mm. Not really. You've just chosen to make that the thing that you're upset about right now. And there was somebody who I heard the other day who was like, today is the day that you were freaking out about two days ago. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, and look, like everything's fine. I like, know. you know, things are fine. But, but it's just like, again, it's easy when you're freaking out, your walls aren't down, right? Like if, if you're if you're like, oh my God, what if, what if this goes wrong? What if this goes wrong? Then if something does go wrong, you're like, I knew that was going to go wrong. And oh, like, there's a, yeah. there's a security there instead of being like, no, you know what? Like at the end of running those five miles, it's like every everything is great, you know. Yeah. And even if something bad did happen, it's like, right, how do we deal with it? It's it's very that's true because your coping mechanisms are stronger if you're generally healthy. If you don't let your but but I think that's also like what you learn as you get older is like you gotta do things to maintain your self. You have to do things. You must stay healthy mentally, physically, spiritually. And if you don't do all those things. To maintain yourself, you will sink and you will become that person that's like, everything's happening to me. What the fuck? Right. And that's like what Jordan Peterson says is he's like, you, uh, the reason why it's so bad to lie all the time is because then when you have to turn to yourself for something big or important and trust yourself, you know, deep down, you're like, I'm a liar. Mm, You know, that's cool. I'm, I'm really this person where if you're honest and you're always up front and you're tr- like you don't have to be the best person but if you're trying to be a good person you're trying to do all these things and then one day like you need to make a decision there's less angst there because you have you feel a certain security of like well I see how I operate and everything else right and I know I'm honest to people and I try to be a good person so I'm gonna make this decision and I'm I'm okay with you know, plus you've been happens. you've been practicing integrity with yourself and practicing that way of being. So when it right. comes to other things, it's like, well, this is it. I know how my brain works this way. Yeah, you're right. Like it's the form is already there. So if somebody like well, I used to sit on my couch for two months straight taking Percocets and just like not <laughs> doing and just eating pizza, like doing nothing when I when I was like 26 or 25 or whatever, where like if somebody knocked on my door and was like, there's a problem, like. This, like, I, I, w- I wouldn't even answer the door. Like, I don't even know what to do. Where, like, if I just got back from the gym and I shut my front door and somebody was like, hey, there's a problem. It's like, oh, what can we do? Like, you know, that you're yeah. just, your mindset is. You're there. Yeah. You're available for you, it. Because you believe that you can deal with this problem. I know. You know? It probably, it gives you, like, a false sense of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or it tells you the truth, you know? Or it's like, yeah, I'm not just some, like, bum who shouldn't. Like, I remember one time, like, I don't like mice. But I'm not like, oh, my God, like big scared of mice. But I remember one time I was in my apartment alone for such a long time. Like like the only person I saw was the delivery guy. Like 
no one. I'm just taking pills. It's like fucking February in New York, whatever. <laughs> and there was a mouse in my apartment. I almost had a heart attack. Like Ugh. it scared the shit out of me. Not because it was a mouse, but because I thought I was alone. Oh. Like I, I was alone for so long and so isolated that then when this like mouse, sh- like you see people in like prison cells when, when they, and they get a mouse and they're like, oh, it's my friend. Yeah. Like, this, I saw this fucking mouse like run across the floor and I was so scared. Like I fucking jumped up on my couch and I'm like, holy shit, like what? Like like this where like normally I would have been like, oh fuck, there's a mouse in my, like I. Right, because you're not, you're such a low pet, you're so low frequency when that happens to you. You're not equipped to deal with it, right? Yeah, like it was, like oh my God, there's, there's chaos. Like, yeah. you know, and I don't know what to do. Where like, you know, I've, I've been, if I'm just like going to a friend's place and all of a sudden I see a mouse cross the floor, it's like, I'm not like, oh, I want to touch it, but I'm not, I'm not going to like jump Completely. on the couch like scared, so you know, true. but it was. I had isolated for so oh, fucking man. long that I was like, I don't know what, you know, the, we asked Dr. Drew, like what my brain was really doing. Oh just my God. Panic, just sheer panic of like, we're not alone. Like, cause I just wanted to be in this like hole alone. Oh yeah. God, that's so interesting. Another thing I've learned too is like, I think it was a Dr. Phil book. I had read it in. <laughs> it's, so, it's funny when you pick up things from different places, but he talks about dealing with the reality of now versus you staying in your mindset of what you think reality currently is. For instance, if you see, you could, let's say your kid's having some kind of a problem, a behavioral issue or something, and you're just in denial about it. Like, so it'll be fine. Just It'll get better. I don't want to deal with that. And it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Or financial problems, you know, you'll be in denial. You won't look at your financial statements because you don't want to know the truth about them. And then they just get worse and worse and worse. So the ability to deal with reality of what's happening right now is a huge benefit. Like it's a huge adult thing to do. What's yeah. happening and what's the reality of it? And let me just deal with that reality because a lot of people don't want to deal with the uncomfortable reality of things. The avoidance of pain is like primal. That's what we all want to do. Avoid pain, seek pleasure. So you're actively Why going... are all these stupid bitches getting tattoos all over their arms? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but what you're talking about too is like actively going to the pain and going, I'm equipped. I'm healthy. I'm go. Let's go. It's a healthy like, yeah, dog, let's fucking do this. Versus like, I'm going to hide and do Percocets for a month. And there's a mouse on the thing and I'm so low that I can't do the thing now. It's not wild. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fucking getting healthy. Oh, I gotta wrap. It's getting healthy. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so fat. This flew by. You have to come back. You will yeah, be back, course. obviously. <laughs> now that you're in um, Austin. I live in Austin, baby. Oh, it's gonna happen. Well, I hope we. Um, I know what I know what sushi place you like. Next time we'll go eat there. Yeah. I can watch you. And do that's some where damage. I was. That's where I went last night. And you want to hear something interesting? Yeah. I went into the bathroom. And in the, there's a men's bathroom and a women's bathroom. I went into the men's bathroom, and on behind the toilet there was a little like uh, cup thing full of tampons. Wow. <laughs> which at first I thought. Uh, finally. Which at first God. I thought, hey, this doesn't make sense. But then I realized, you know, this is good because men don't carry purses. That's true. So where would we keep our where tampons? Where would we keep tampons? <laughs> yeah. And, and guys, men have periods. We've learned that. This year that men have periods, so I'm yeah, thank I'm God. I'm not on mine right now. No, you're not. Oh, good. No. Yeah, gosh. Yeah. Then you really want to eat a lot, not yeah, exercise. If I'm you're on chilling. Your but my skin is a mess. Maybe it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Eiler, I love you. Thank you so love much for you. being thank here. Thank you guys for having me. You're it's the always best. Fun. You're the best. Don't ever feel like it's a chore for me to come here. You're like, oh, is it okay for you? I fucking love this show. Okay, well, I do. Well, I enjoy. I mean, it's the opposite of acting. Let's see, we talk for an hour and a half and we have an hour and a half podcast. Of content. Yeah. And it's imperfect. And it's yeah. not it's not perfect. And that's what the charm is. People love that shit, man. Yeah. All right. Now I got to go to work out. Now, now you made me like, I'm fired up. I'm going to go home and work out, dudes. And all thanks right. to all the mommies. I love the mommies. And the mommies are just, best. they've been very, very supportive. They're yeah. very, very kind. They're the best. Yeah. They're the best audience. We're so hashtag blessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they love you. It's okay. It's gay and retarded. We're full circle now. Still gay. Still I guess retarded. We're gay and retarded. Say it. Wow. All. What an angel. What an angel. <laughs> we got. We got a yeah. Beautiful Nadav. Oh God. Okay.
All right. Thank you, guys. Subscribe to this podcast so that you always get it. Thank you for listening. Come see me do Stand Up Live. Buy my lipstick. Give love <laughs> to Twitch, to, to our friend Kasim G. Kasim G over on Twitch. He's, that's our guy. Yeah. We'll play poker with Rob Eiler. Okay. And we, yeah. Oh. No, no, go. I was just going to say real quick, the reason why you got to go support Kasim is we just announced we're ending pajama pants. I know. I don't know if I should no more. bring that up. I mean, that's pretty big news. We'll talk about it in the next one. We'll talk about it in the next one. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, mommies. Until next time, stay cool. Bye. Hi, mommy. Thank you for watching that episode. Did you like what you see? I hope you did. So why don't you subscribe? Just click the subscribe button and, you know, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. And also, why don't you watch another video? What? Watch one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, down there, whatever. There's so much stuff, bro. I make these all the time for you to watch. That's why I'm here. I love you.